Welcome to the Char Jr. Ryuki channel, where gaming and nachos are law. So sit back, relax, and let's dip in. Hello guys, it's Char Jr. Ryuki here, just uh, chilling here. I was playing Destiny for a little while, just, uh, you know, take some time, take a little break. Do a little grinding. I'm already at max level, by the way. I already have my solar deal already completed. I know there's two other things I have to go do yet to get the other ones completed, but... Um... We might be at the end of this, because you... When I talked about in the last episode, that you guys will eventually see that you have to do a bunch of side things to get Spider to trust you, and so you can get where Aldrin is. So where the Baron is. I'm hoping I could try and finish it in this one particular episode. Why am I not doing anything right now besides just talking? Is uh, because I am editing a video and I just got done editing it. And I'm just getting... It to go through the whole process of, you know, to be, to become a video. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sitting here waiting until it's done. And it's almost there, so. Because it's not the only one I have to go through. Because I know there's one that I'm, I might have to trim down just a bit. I might have to split it apart and trim it, trim it down just a bit. But, yeah, it's, uh, I'm hoping I can finish this so I can go back to working on everything else. So I can, uh, because I've been mixing things up, so I'm not just working on console games. I'm also playing some games on PC and recording, recording them, trying them out and recording them. And, uh, that. So, I'm, uh, hopefully you guys will, uh, like what I will be uploading here soon. I will try to get more videos done so I can upload more than one or two every so often. And I'm be doing the same thing for my reviews, but every time I get the three videos, I end up uploading them right off the bat. So uh, if you guys want to go check them out, they are go to the uh, my Charge Yuki Reviews channel, Reviews on Fire. Go check that out. I'm going to do some dancing here. This is actually one of the new dances I got. Looks a little off, but this is kind of how what my character looks, if you can tell. That's, that's, the, that's my character's new look. That's... Let's, let's go... No, not that one. No, not that one. We go this one. So I don't know why. That's pretty much... Oh, look at that. Got a connection error. That's nice with the start for this video. That's, uh, that's not good. What's the matter, Bungie? Not enough 60 to $100 funds to fund your connection problems and fix it? How about we just talk about that real quick here? I'll be uh, going back to where I was here, just for those connection problems, right in the butt. Okay. Destiny to Destiny 2 is a good game. It's a good shooter. This wasn't here before. The grind is fine. Shooting, obviously fine. The new... The new weapon that you get to use is also fine. The bow is fine. You know, it's good. It shoots well. It's fine. But, but, what I don't like about Destiny, and, I'm, and a lot of people have said this, is the kind of loot box thing that they do with the whole silver and all that, buy that, to get all this other stuff. Um... I don't like that. Uh, I also don't like the fact that uh, with every DLC that comes out, 
you have to spend upwards to sixty dollars every single time. That's that's with with Destiny One. With Destiny One, if you didn't buy the bundle or the annual pass, you had to buy or rebuy the game just to play the DLCs. Now they were on the store sold separately, but when I was playing Destiny One, they wouldn't let me actually purchase them. I had to rebuy the game, so I had to. I waited because I already had the Dark Below for some reason. I already had that one already, but when it came to the House of Wolves and the Taken King, which was the most recent one for the Iron Blood one, Taken King by far. Spider, shut up! I'm talking. Shut up. I'm gonna back out so I don't have to hear him talk. Um, Taken King by far, I think I've already said this in my uh, Hunter playthrough. Uh, if you want to go check that out, that's also on my channel. I played through the entire Destiny, Destiny uh, mission, I guess storyline in some way. Uh, I played through that entirely again. Um... I waited till Take a King came out and bought it. So that's already $120 I spent on Destiny. And that's not even what I spent. Just, just so you know, like, Take a King, awesome. It's the best one out of all of them in the first Destiny. Other people will say Iron Blood's the best, but to be honest, Iron Blood never really interested me into buying the game spending the, on the game another $60 to play it. Now with Destiny 2, it's got a good storyline. The depressing part, your character doesn't say a damn thing. But, I'll be getting to the gameplay in a second. I am doing a bit of a talk rant right now. About how I like Destiny and Destiny 2. I like it. I like it. But I also hate it. And this is a complaint that never seems to be understood, especially by the developers Bungie, and how and all how the, the depressing part that they killed the best character in this game, Cade Six, in their new installment, Destiny 2 Forsaken. Their best character. Their best one. And they killed him. How stupid are they? Just as stupid as are they when they uh, make you pay 60 to 80 to $100 for a bundle, or pretty much for the entire game itself. And that's where it leads up to Destiny 2. I bought... The DLC, the expansions 1 and 2, you already seen the part of the expansion, the uh, Curse of Osiris. I played a little bit of it and recorded a couple episodes. Not very interesting. The Curse of Osiris, the first two expansions are a blah. They're just like the ending to the Destiny 2 story. It was a blah. Uninteresting, no real effort, nothing. Just blah. And... That costed, for the annual pass for that, so I didn't have to buy them separately, I spent $40 and replaced for $20 each for both of them. And I went ahead and played through all of them before I played this. I think I've said that in the very first episode of Forsaken. But, the thing is, with Destiny 2, especially with Destiny Forsaken, you had one chance, a small window, to buy the annual pass for everything that you get. In Destiny 2 Forsaken. You had that one chance. After that chance was up. Which I would say probably at least a week. You had to buy. You had to pay. I should say. The $60. Which means you had to rebuy the game again. Or if you're in my case. Like I've done before, you've already owned the game. Why is it you can't get this version? Oh, wait, you actually have to rebuy the game yourself. So, 
in a way, I've basically spent on Destiny 2 for just a couple extra hours of gameplay and storyline and a couple extra line of bosses without wasting your time with the Crucible, the Gambit, the Raids, the Strikes, without having to go through all of that just to play another DLC again. I spent over $200 on this already. At least, I last, actually, let me think about it. At least $200, just for Destiny 2. When I spent 120 on Destiny 1. That's the most I've spent on any game. On any game. That is the Pressing and frustrating. And get this. Destiny 1 had four expansions. Had four DLCs. So will Destiny 2. Why? Because after you finish Forsaken, they're not just going to give you a random mission. No. You, after defeating Alduin, the jerk from Destiny 1, and the jerk from Destiny 2 who killed Kate 6, thanks Bungie, um... After beating him, they're going to announce a new DLC, a fourth DLC expansion for Destiny 2. What's leading up to this rant? Destiny and Destiny 2 are games made to look that they are complete games. They are made to look like they're complete games. No matter what anyone says, if you break it down and you, or you not break it down, but you look at it, you take a huge step back. I mean, it's a game you can play constantly for a year, for a year or two, for pretty much any time you want. It's almost as bad as Call of Duty, but Call of Duty sucks. <laughs> with the tryhards, with the idiots, and the loot boxes and all that garbage it's it's all just as bad as the Call of Duty franchise where it's ended up which is why I'm not going to waste my time with Call of Duty with the, the next Call of Duty game the Battle Royale L1 I'm not wasting my time with it because it's a waste no one really wanted another Battle Royale when you already had Fortnite and PUBG and whatever else I'm probably still going to be ranting about this, but it's just so depressing that the only for a couple hours. Them all. One fell swoop. And if Aldrin's there too, even better. The traitor Good. prince will not survive us. Alright, let's finish this quest and take out everyone else, but still. Petra is probably going to risk her life going after Aldrin herself. Vengeance will be ours. All right. Is this from the Crystal Barrows? I guess I have to talk to you. broad shouldered friend. That's what she said. I mean, I'm hoping in this episode I could probably finish it. That I would like to finish it. If I had to do this mission and then have to do another episode for the other one to make it a five-part finish for Forsaken, then, uh, fine. But, it's just, it's just really frustrating that with the Destiny 2 Forsaken, it was $60 for just for Forsaken 2, and nothing else. We really don't get anything else besides that. Then, they were like, okay, with this one pass that you could have gotten... You had this small chance, you know. They waved it in front of you. You could have gotten this. You talk too much. Bring me Arha. I have a task for him. I can't, I can't aim at you. I can't aim at you either. Okay, I'm supposed to go this way. But, um... Uh, it was... Sixty dollars... But we're here for justice. 
aren't we? Actually, justice for blood, revenge, it's Let's all the same thing. Aldrin and the Baron's location is solid. There's no point in making a deal with the devil if the devil doesn't come through. True. Um, what was I talking about again? This territory was once mine. In the relocation, I was forced to leave some valuables behind. A proposition, friend. Retrieve my caches, and I will make it worth your while. Okay. So we have to get two of his caches. Uh, my video is done. Make me mad One of the caches me. Spider wants is back there. I know, I'm doing two things at once. It's not, not supposed to be, not to write for the way I technically going to be doing this again simply because it uh I'm sorry I'm taking too long to get that actually started but it's quite frustrating that you guys could have heard some of it but apparently when it was when something was trying to get to go to the, to the uh like it was supposed to like to finalize become a video uh, it didn't there's something about it didn't didn't like it I don't know why. I'm gonna, I might have to mess with that before I actually get to leave because I want to go. Uh... Shut it. I don't have time to deal with you, jerks. Belligerent is 
I guess I have to defeat this guy, right? Oh my god. I deserve that. 20 minutes into the video and been doing nothing but ranting and talking and walking. No time to lose. I dropped my you made me drop my hammer. And it's nice to have a weapon. A lot of bullets. I don't have to Hoping going through this again. Be able to get that video done so I can get that video up on it. Plus the others upload it. Alright. You have a fit. on its way, Spider. Lord, 
Take out your dosh. I need the target practice. Look out. Every shot I take adds another soldier to the Scorn army. Get where I can see you. Spider, we lost one of your guys. <laughs> the cost of doing business, my friend. Do not let it trouble you. Transmatting cash. Why they bring that in here? I go from talking in first three minutes I'm fairly silent. Aw, oh, I missed. Kidding me, he's still alive?
video's done again, but I'm hoping that it actually works like I want it to. every single one of you guys in the face. And so be it. I need another spider cache. I'll have to check that video again later. This is going to be one long video. Me ranting about Destiny 2. Destiny, Destiny 2. Ranting. Or at least talking about it. Ranting about this. For like the first 20 minutes to check the video.
guy. I'll get where I can hit you. You kill it pleases me, pleases King Aldrin. You think you will defeat my scorn, my siblings, and my father all at once? Succeed where K6 failed. Oh, you guys did not just do that. Falling, I claim it as scorn. Kill the scorn. I raise ten more. You guys did not just insult K6. No, I'm not doing a whole lot. The 
stronghold is secure. The Baron's escaped. This was our best shot at ending this. And now they've scattered. What are we gonna do now? Didn't you? Piece of advice, eh? Know your enemy before you deal with them. Rex Isvan, the hangman. The silent sadist used to dock the arms of dregs with his bare hand. <laughs> Canix, the mad bomber. Emphasis on man. Demolitions expert with an irritating way about him. The trickster, Araskis. A liar and a schemer. Friendly advice. Trust nothing she touches. Hyrax, the mind bender, has a rep for manipulation, has a morbid obsession with the hive. Yavix, aka the rider, the leader of a bombastic gang of pike riding heathens. They sow chaos everywhere they ride. The rifleman, Pierre Han. The only fallen alive who can make the shot that mortalized Cain Six. Elycris, the machinist, the scourge of soulless descent. This one sits atop a trove of tech and heavy armament stolen from me. The fanatic himself, Fickrul, the leader of the Barons and the first of the Scorn. This dark magic has no place on my shore. No place. Last, the most certainly least, Aldrin Sov, traitor to his people, and the man who pulled the trigger. He may be in the wind, but his barons are ripe for the picking. Divide, conquer, isolate Aldrin. He'll wind up at your feet, and all you have to do is pull the trigger. Let me know for the next episode, game. What mission? Seeing how we couldn't end it here in this episode. And again, I apologize for it being so long, and especially me 20 minutes of ranting. But, you know, it, it, it had to be said. At least from someone who likes the game and plays it for oh, hours. On. I have a video to go check to make sure it works. I don't have to restart everything all over again. Come on. <sighs> so, <laughs> even the great hero of the Red War has limits. Eight barons and an awoken prince. <laughs> and only one of you. I so dislike betting on the underdog. But you are resourceful. And you do have the queenless queen's wrath in your corner. Oh, you've talked me into it. <laughs> Our friendship shall continue. Pursue your vengeance. When the shore is a bit less crowded, we will speak again of favors. So we just accepted another. What is your earth place? If we meet again. Another quest here, but I'm gonna take Kate's a killers are still out there. But the hunt is not over. You take down the barons. Thin the herd. As for Aldrin, did you see that awoken spire when you landed here? 
It's called the Watchtower. I shouldn't be telling you this, but... My people's greatest secrets lie beyond that spire. There's no other reason Aldrin would come to the Tangled Shore. Sooner or later, he will go to the Watchtower. We must stop him before that happens. Good hunting. So, the next one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, accept it. I'm not going to do it in this episode. I'll do it in the next one. Defeat the Barons on the Tangled Shore. We will have our revenge. I'll I'm gonna go into orbit here. Before I end this episode. I apologize for it being so long. And 20 minutes of me ranting and even trying to finish editing the video and test trying to test it. I, I apologize. I'm gonna take... Defeat the Barons on the Tangled Shore. So that tells me that these guys are going to be... Aha! So this is how they're doing it. Target the Rider, target the Mad Bomber, the Trickster, the Hangman, the Rifleman. So this is going to be interesting, because it might be... I'll try to do at least two of these in an episode. I'll try to do at least two of them in an episode. Because apparently this place, this is the Watchtower, I guess, or this this is. Whichever one's the Watchtower, that's where they gotta go. So... Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I apologize for the ranting in this episode. But, uh need to be said so uh, I'm gonna go finish that video and uh, hope you guys will uh, like it when it gets uploaded so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next Destiny 2 Forsaken episode